Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. And I wanted to get back to you about why I have been silent for the last month. Uh, yeah, I did finish that John Goffman book. It did take a lot out of me. Hey dog. And uh, there's a dog with his owner right there. And uh, I got lots of messages, many of them in support. Many people sent me emails telling me to give it up, that they were completely boring. I was ruining the book. Uh, but you know what? I made a commitment to people that I would complete it, and I did complete it. So, and I have not forgotten that I promised to give you the index, and that I also was going to read that paper by Weinman, Weinberg. I haven't forgotten that. But this is really the issue. You know, I've been doing this radio show for Kevin since he... Uh, has been in Europe for the last month. And it's really made me realize we listen to the radio, we watch the YouTubes, and then go about our daily lives. It makes us feel okay to know about it. Like I actually have to, you know, we have to make an effort to call our elected officials, to go stand out on the street corners, but there's just nobody else out there. Like. I ask people that I know in my life, in my activism, and I say, so since you've been hearing about this, how many times have you guys called Ron Wyden? How many times have you called Jeff Merkley? How many times have you called your uh, county commissioner? Like, who have you been talking to? Everybody says nobody. Right. Well, that's why. What the fuck? Why should I be doing this? Like, seriously, when I first started this, I thought people did not know. And guess what? Four years in, people fucking know. Everybody knows. They go, oh yeah. Actually, they look at me and go, oh, I hope she doesn't talk to me about Fukushima. I mean, I'm actually considered like the person that they're hoping that I don't bring the R word up. Like, really? Why we don't have millions of people organizing, I don't know. But we're not. And... Maybe that's what I'm going to do. Maybe that's the next step, and I'll just videotape that. I'll start advertising. You know, anti-Fukushima, anti-radiation meetings, a meetup. People who want to get actively engaged to get the truth out about nuclear radiation, because we are being fucking bombarded by nuclear radiation. That's why we're hearing about more and more cancers. That's why we're hearing about the sterility rates spiking. That's why we're hearing about children with autism and genetic mutations, mental retardation. It's all because of nuclear. You know, I was angry when Joe Biden said nothing when his son died of brain cancer. He got brain cancer from cell phones, from being in Iraq, from being exposed to Fukushima, and Joe Biden said nothing. Nothing, as if radiation is just what we have to accept these days. He's being told he has to accept it, so he's gonna... Well, you know what I say to that? Fuck you, I'm not going to accept it. Like, really? We do not have to accept radiation. We do not have to accept cancer. And the Post Ignorance Project was formulated on the corporate charter that says we have a right to live a nuclear-free life. And we have a right to have scientists tell us the truth and conduct real science to find the, to mitigate the harm that radiation does to our bodies and to our planet. And right now we're fucking ignoring it. And the Pacific Ocean is dying. And Chernobyl is on fire. Nuclear power plants all around the country. Go to NRC Alerts. Go take a look at that and you tell me that we're fucking safe. All of you people on the East Coast, you guys are just fucking like frogs in a pot of the boiling water. Just like the people around Hanford. And if we have a blow up, an earthquake at the Columbia Generating Station, fucking Eugene is going to be part of that mix. If, if the Columbia Generating Station has a nuclear meltdown and those nuclear facilities, the nuclear waste site at Hanford cannot be managed for over a week because of the nuclear meltdown at the Columbia Generating Station, we are going to have a catastrophic event that nobody will be able to stop.
And that is a reality, and we have a very active earthquake fault directly under the Columbia Generating Station. And it is intentional that they did not tell the NRC. The licensee knew about it. And Patty Murray, Senator Patty Murray, loves Hanford and is saying nothing about the earthquake fault in her own state. Her own family would be decimated. So this is why I don't come to YouTubes. Because nobody that lives in Washington is fucking form a coalition and fucking sitting on her fucking doorstep every goddamn day saying, end it, end it, end it. I guess we just don't want to end up like Code Pink, right? Where you're the, like, one in the room. They're like, oh, her, she's from Code Pink. She's going to spread her legs and keep herself from being kicked out of the room by our law-abiding senators. Fucking hell, man, the treason that is just permeated in our government today is unfucking believable and that again is another reason why I just like fuck it who cares why am I doing videos on YouTube's for what you know I support the post ignorance project I've been doing the radio show I find it very uh, liberating to do the radio show where I can at least get the information out about the NRC alerts and about the information, just different information. That There's so much out there. Libby Halevi does a fucking fabulous job on Nuclear Hot Seat. I mean, she does a really great job. But there is so much. We need so much more. We need millions of people to stop these motherfuckers. And that's what it's going to take. And we don't need to be violent. We don't need fucking guns. We need our brains. And we need our courage. And we need to have the courage to stand up to them and face them. That's the first part of the journey. Using a gun is cowardice. It's bullshit. Why do you think the fucking U.S. military has the biggest weapons arsenal in the world? Because they're run by fucking cowards. That's why. They don't have the courage to stand on their fucking word because their word means nothing. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to end here, but uh, please go to the Post Ignorance page. The PostIgnoranceProject.com make a contribution. Kevin really needs your help. And I'm probably going to put a video out again. I would say, I don't know. I don't think I can face it for another couple days. I'll do it again. But I, honestly, I want to see action. And I want to see, if people want to email me and we can come up with ideas to form coalitions like little post-ignorance project units all around the country, email me at the post ignorance project at gmail the post ignorance project at gmail and uh that way or it might be post ignorance project i don't know i have to look at it but it's one of those two you can find me the post ignorance project i'm pretty sure that's it gmail so send me an email i'm not giving up totally but can you tell i'm a bit heartbroken <laughs> so so what else is new right Ciao.